So as I was sitting here, pondering back and forth on what next upgrade I would like to do to my village, it has occurred to me that I have not given them any Jesus. So I think it's about time that I add in a little Jesus for them in their life. So there they go. They have that brand new chapel that's going in. And I've also had a boom of people, which means my houses are very full. Which means it's time for us to start working on all of our other housing that we want to put in. So let's see. I'm actually going to go with this one. I actually don't mind that house. There we go. We're just going to put in a whole bunch of these. This is a really big amount of housing. So I'm going to put in, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six houses right there. That's a lot of housing. Honestly, that's probably more than what I need, but I'm going to slap those in because we are trying to really grow our population. We have our farms over here. They're starting to produce. I ended up building out this fishing dock to make sure that it was getting done. So now they can go through and we have some, we'll, we'll actually increase the number of fishermen over there to two per. I think that's a decent amount of fishing that's going to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and up our builders to force me. We have 16 total jobs that are needed and that still leaves us with 11 laborers with those 11 laborers i'm going to come over here and i'm going to clear out this section that's right here because honestly it's just bugging me that it's there so i feel like we need to just get that cleared out right there i'm fine with trees growing back and stuff but random rocks reappearing no we don't want all that in our face so let's get that out of there that's probably going to cover all the yeah that'll cover all the stone we just lost to build our jesus shrine Okay, good. This is good work. This is good stuff that's happening. Look at all. Look at our little storages here that are just beginning getting filled. Oh, hey, look at that. We need. Uh, there we go. Have yourself a wow. Fifty-three people already. Fifty-three people go into one chapel. But I have all sorts of room for more people that can go there. So that's good. So whenever they want a little bit of religion in their life, they can now go get it. Now, like I said at the end of the last episode, we're actually doing really, really, really good. We are doing a lot better than I actually thought we'd be doing, especially seeing how we ran into a food issue at the end of our first episode. And now we are doing actually really, really, really well. We have a good amount of houses. We have a really good number of people. Look at all these. All this is now delivered. So the builders just need to come and start putting in that work, if you know what I mean. They just need to start adding that in there. I might actually build... Uh, a road that kind of stretches out this way, kind of, because it looks like they're going to be passing this way anyway. Yeah, look at that. Already getting people over here. A fisherman, some farmers. Wow. Already getting people over here. Speaking of getting people over here, I didn't even think about it, and I need to put it in. I need to put my marketplace back in. So let me get another market. I'm going to put it down right in line with these houses that are right there. There we go. We're going to have that market in there. I'm going to grab some road. I'm just going to go ahead and surround these houses that I've built here with some road. And then I'm going to surround this with some road. There we go. So that's going to get another marketplace built up right there. I'm going to make it so I can have another uh, merchant in here. I'm just going to put two in here and it'll make it so uh, that gets full as well over there, which is which is just fine. How are we doing on total amount of food? We can store 50,000. We have 9,000. Okay, we still got tons and tons. That's 94% full. That one's 93% full. Oh, here, let's uh, let's go ahead and put in another one. Let's go ahead and put in another little storage barn here because I feel like we're going to need it. I'm going to put it right there. Store all that sheep byproduct because the sheep byproduct, like I said, is really, really, really starting to put out. We have a lot of output right now. Look at that. 1,200 mutton and 90 wool for one year. That's a lot. The, the sheep are getting their frick on, and they are producing them babies for us. Hey, look at That's already done. Nice. All right. And our marketplace has got our, our little sales dude there now. And we can start moving all of our stuff over here, whether it's food or there's that food that we were hoping for. Food or clothes or tools and things like that. I could also start getting some things like an apiary up. I could put an apiary in. Honestly, I could. I could slap an apiary back over here, which I just might do. I just might do that because with an apiary, you start making honey. And if I remember correctly, 
Then you can put... If you got honey, you can put it towards... What you call it? Towards mead, I think? Hey, look! There's eight nomads. This is what I was trying- This is what I was pausing for while I was finishing my thought. But I have eight nomads. I'm gonna go ahead and ex accept those eight nomads. It didn't add too many to our labor pool, but it did add some kids to us now. And honestly, I think it's time for a school, too. So now we have the nomads. I'm gonna bring my speed down to times five. And we're gonna get back going again. And let's get some things going here. So first things first. Let's go ahead and let's grab a schoolhouse. And I'm going to put this schoolhouse down right there. I'm going to get that going. Then I'm going to... I could grab a library and it would just give books to citizens and make them happy. Don't really need it right now, though. But we do have that... How's our... Where are our nomads staying? Are our nomads in here? Our nomads are in here, which means I need more houses. That's what I need. So let's do that. Let's do that right here, actually. Right down here. Let's let's add a couple houses in right here. And then what I'm going to do... So I got three houses right there. I'm going to see if I can put a forester in over here. Our logs are actually doing fine, so I don't really need it. But I'm future proofing. I'm future proofing at this point. So let me go ahead, put a forester down like right there. And then, you know what? Can I? Is there anywhere over here that I can put this tunnel in? Oh, wait, it went right there. It went right there for a second. There it goes. If I do that, I could put that tunnel in right there. Oh, here, cancel this one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. We got a little tunnel that's going to go in right there. So they're going to add the stone there, and then that'll make it so they can easily get over here to where this, uh, Forester's Lodge is. And then I can start getting, like, some hunters and stuff over here, some gatherers and things. So that'll help bolster out this area. These houses are already built. Holy crap, we are just crapping out houses at this point. I need another trader. I had a trader not too long ago come through, but I feel like I still need another one. So I have 16 kids right now, 52 adults. I now have students in here, which as soon as they decide who's going to become students, that will increase that. Reduce my number of builders back down to two. Hey, look, another trader. What you got for me? Uh, Pumpkin seeds. I could start getting pumpkins. I could start getting pumpkins. Do I want pumpkins, though? I could trade out a crap load of squash for, for some pumpkin seeds. I feel like I don't need pumpkins. I feel like I don't need pumpkins right now. I'm going to hold off. I do plan on getting all of the seeds before uh, I stop doing this series. I want to get all the seeds that I can before I stop doing the series. But I feel like that I don't need to rush into that right now. It is our 12th year. It is our 12th year, and our people have been surviving off of four different foods. Squash, mutton, well, no, that's not true. That's not true, because they're getting roots and vegetables and venison, so actually, honestly, no, they've been getting quite the variety. Yeah, see, look at onions, mushrooms, roots, berries, they, they're good. They are good. They, they should not be complaining at all over the food that they're getting right now, so... Okay. 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 So we got our first batch of nomads. We got our houses. We got our tunnel. It connects this to over here. Can I put a road through the tunnel? I think I can, right?
I cannot, but I'm going to still be going to run a ro road right here. There we go. And then I'll take this road and just attach it right there. Okay, there we go. So I got my little tunnel built. I got my road that goes over there. It's going to make it so the foresters can come over here. What I'm going to do really quick is any rocks that are over here, I'm going to get rid of those, and then any iron that's over here as well, which there's next to none, but we're going to... We're just going to scoop that up while we can over here, too. That'll put all of our laborers to work. All 19 of them. That'll get them going. 71 members of the church now. Ooh. Ooh, that's picking up good. Our boarding house doesn't have any people in it. The boarding house is great if you're going to start getting nomads in. That's when it's great. That's when you need to start doing that. Um, Cool. Cool. I'm, I'm like looking through here. The only thing that I could see is kind of lacking over here is firewood. I can see that the firewood delivery over here is not the best. I'm actually going to increase the number of people working at the market. So that way they can walk back and forth a little bit more to grab that firewood. And maybe I'll even put a woodcutter in over here. Should I? I think I should do that. What's going on? Uh oh, an outbreak of dysentery has occurred. Where? Where? Okay, well, if we have an outbreak of dysentery, that means that I need a hospital. And actually, the hospital fits really well right there, and that's not too far from either of the villages for them to be able to bring their people to. So let's go ahead and prioritize that. I'm going to go ahead and get that prioritized. Hopefully that means that they're going to go ahead and get that built for us. We'll get a nurse working. They'll start making some medicine. And people will no longer have dysentery, because dysentery is not a good thing. Wash your hands! Well, this person way over here is the one with dysentery. Who are you? Non-educated child. Trying to find some place warm. Your inventory has a whole lot of nothing. You're just sitting over there with dysentery. You want to go ahead and just get that handled for me, please? That'd be great. Get another couple foresters over here. Why is this only storing here? Let me limit this to two. Okay, I was going to say. Why are we not evening out between our places? There should be two there and two there right now. I'm actually going to throw a house in over here. So that way this person doesn't have to walk as far. If they want to work there. The people that are working there, both the foresters, can live right there next to their forester's shop. Still no more traders. Do I put a second one in? You could put, like, four or five of them in if you want to. You don't have to... Uh... You don't only have to have one. You can have, like, six if you want. But I don't really need six traders right now. That's another thing that's, like, late game, getting all the end game stuff, like... Let me make sure that I have plenty of honey. Let me make sure that I have plenty of plants. Let me make sure that I have plenty of food. Let me make sure I have plenty of different types of food and stuff. Because, you know, you're endgame, right? That's what you're trying to do. But right now, I don't think that I really need to do that. Or we... Firewood is only a seven over here. I'm going to pull the trigger and I'm going to do it. I'm going to add a, a woodcutter in right here. It fits in that spot. I'm going to add it in. People are dying of dysentery. That is not good. Why is this not being built? Why is this not being built? I ordered this as a priority. That should be your guys' number one priority right now. Where's my builders at? They need to get that going. I got all these herbs. Honestly, I don't have that much stored medicine. How do I not have... Well, I suppose I have a lot of people and only one gatherer. I have the one gatherer. Let me actually get another gatherer in here. Put that right in front of that guy. We'll get another gatherer in over here. But this should have been well built by now. I only have one person, two people. Looks like I only have two people who have dysentery. We've lost five people, though. Five people in 12 years. Actually, more than that, because we didn't even have it up, and a couple people died of starvation right off the get-go. 
We are not going to die of starvation anytime soon now. God, I got so much food now. All it needs, though, is a, is a good size population boom. And that 10,000 food will be dwindled down to nothing. But hey, we finally have our first students. We have four students. Nice. We're starting to get educated. So that means warm clothes, right? Steel tools, right? And education. So our people are working at some supreme levels of uh, production right now. The only thing that we can do more is literally get that health part all the way up and then get this final happiness up by providing them some liquor. And honestly, we'll be in a golden space. But speaking of golden spaces, I'm already spotting an issue and the eagle-eyed among you may have already spotted it as well. My iron is dwindling quickly. That is not good. That is not good. Can I really quick build a bridge and get over it? Let me build the stone bridge right here. And then I'm going to tell them to go and get me all that iron for now. What I'll do in the future, I was going to put a mine here, but I was thinking about it. I'm like, that's a decent spot for a mine, right? Or I could put a bunch of them up over here. Yeah, see? Now we're thinking. Let's get our uh, let's get our hospital working there. This guy, he's got sheep. I'm going to go ahead and dismiss him. I don't need any sheep. I need chickens. That's what I need. And it looks like that everybody's going to start making their way over there to the hospital that is sick. Fantastic. Take all your dysentery-filled people over to the hospital. Go get yourself some medicine. Go get yourself cleaned up. Look at how quickly they're recovering. And... Just like that, our dysentery has been taken care of. Boom. No more dysentery for our people. Bye-bye, sickness. We didn't need you anyway. Boom. Everybody's cured. Hooray. Six students. Everybody's cured. Lots of babies. Might be time to start building some more housing. Honestly. It's people dying of old age still. But that was suspected to happen. Here we go. Let's get some more woodcutters going. We'll get a second woodcutter. And I'm going to start tapping into some more housing over here. I got this area. Let me just turn around here really quick. Make sure I like the look of this house. Yeah, actually, that one's not too bad. Let's do that one. Do another one right next to it. There we go. A couple more houses over there. Give us some more room to grow a little more. You know, they're going to start getting their baby on. How are we doing with our bridge? Actually, not bad. The stone's already there. The logs are already there. And then we just need to get the build points up. And then we can start harvesting all of this iron with all, only 10 of our laborers? Where did I assign all my laborers to? I suppose we did have quite a few people die. Yeah, look at We've had quite a few deaths here, actually. One, two... Three... Four? We've had four deaths lately? It wouldn't affect that that much, but I have built a couple other things, like um, the woodcutter, the merchant, adding a couple of people to the foresters, this gatherer that's down here that's now not working, but is now working now. Uh, you know, things like that. I've started to get the... Oh, and the, and the doctor. The doctor is now up there working, which is a blessing, so we have a hospital for everybody. But hey, if it wasn't for this little hospital... That dysentery outbreak could have wiped this out, but it didn't. It didn't, because somehow we recovered. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead, and let's get an apiary built. I'm going to get this apiary built. Maybe I'll do it over here? No, I want to keep... Put it over here where there's more people to work it. 
Let's do it like here. So if I go one, one, two, three, four, five, then go like one more back, right? So if I put it there, that's going to give me enough room to put down some houses in between there around the marketplace. And then we can have this apiary here and then maybe some farms behind it as well. Because with with the apiary, they're going to start producing us honey. I might even get more than one. I might slap in two of these. Because if I put down two of them, and the only thing the apiaries are used for is producing honey, we don't end up using it for anything. I could use it for trading. There we go. Hey, look, I have houses that don't have people in them. That's actually a good thing. That's actually... Oh, well, there they go. They just got filled with more people. Okay, well. I was thinking that they wouldn't, but now they are filled with people. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Where'd my little ticker go? I keep clicking this off, so I'm not keeping track of everything. 104 coal. That's good. Tools are good. Clothes are okay. Uh, stored iron is okay. Wood is... Fa or food is fantastic. Wood's fantastic. Firewood's fantastic. Okay. So speaking of firewood and clothes, let's go ahead and let's start getting ready by putting in another hunter's hut over here. Get this over here. So yes, there we go. I'm going to put in a hunter's hut over here because then we can start getting more deer. We can start getting more leather. And we need more leather to start making warm clothes. If I was to go through and just start making uh, wool coats again... I could have probably 500 clothes with the amount of wool that I have right now. Because I have... How many textiles? I have 304 textiles. So that's actually 150 more coats. So it would bring me up to 250. That's a lot. That is a lot. I'm um, just checking this here. There we go. That looks better. The fact that the firewood is actually coming together there, that looks better now. And hey, look! Our stone bridge is done, and it looks so good! Our stone bridge is done. Let me go ahead and get myself a little bit of a road. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab a little stone road. A little bit of a stone road there. And then we can put, you know, like a dirt road and stuff over here when it goes over there and starts leading off. Maybe in the future I'll upgrade all my roads to stone roads. If I build a couple quarries over here, I could build like four of them right here. If I have just an abundance of people that are living right here. Hey, an apiary is done. Boop. Very good. Oh, I'm even going to add two there for right now. We're just going to get some people working them bees. Look at that. Ooh, this looks neat. To me, I always thought like some of these modded buildings that they add in here. Like, for instance, there's a horse in there. I don't know why there's a horse in there, but there's a horse in there. Like, if you look... Maybe it's a cow. I think that's actually a cow, not a horse. But it's in there, and it's just chilling. Right? But everything else about it. There's all sorts of beehives there. There's all sorts of beehives here. Right? It's just a way for the, uh, me to produce a little bit more food. It's a way for me to get some more variety in people's diets. Getting them some honey. But we are seriously starting to run out of laborers because all of the children are starting to come over here and become students. But, chestnuts. I already have pecans. I already have pecans. I could trade out a bunch of squash for it or a bunch of potatoes for it. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it so we're going to give up 2,500 potatoes. Okay. And then we're going to wait for them to come over here and start loading those in there. And then we'll have one of these and we'll see how many potatoes we can get in here before he leaves. Because he does leave pretty quick. Now we got... Oh, he doesn't even want potatoes. Oh. 
Well, that sucks. He doesn't even want food for the trading for the seeds. Huh. Well. Too bad, so sad, I guess. It is what it is. Looks like I don't get chestnut seeds. I mean, I could... I could trade out, like... Tools? Like, I have 114 iron tools, right? If I was to, say, throw, like... A hundred tools in here? A hundred iron tools in here? That's, that's only... 800. No, that's not worth it. Let's not do that. There. We'll just leave the 2,500 potatoes in there for the future. When we can trade. And we'll just call it good for now. As much as I hate to say it, we'll just have to call it good for now. Once these start producing... Yeah, look at that. One season, 72 honey already. So... Hopefully, honey will be the next thing that we start producing a bunch of, and that will help us out. Hopefully. And maybe the honey will keep us from getting sick. I know that honey is used for, like, cold medicines and stuff, like natural cold, cold medicines. Maybe I need more. I have a lot of farms, but maybe I need more orchards. Maybe I should put a big orchard in right here. That actually kind of looked nice right there, right? I think that looked nice right here. It's like a massive orchard. It's like a big old orchard. And we'll just make that some pecans. And hopefully in the future, we can use pecans to get us some more tradable materials. But for now, assuming how you will not take my chestnuts, you must be dismissed. Goodbye, my friend. We'll see you later. Hopefully next time you can come with better news of delivering something that you'll actually take potatoes for. But for now, we've made a ton of progress. We have gotten our new area over here built. We have gotten a couple apiaries in. We've saved our civilization from a deadly disease of dysentery. We've gotten a brand new outpost over here starting to get set up, doing a whole bunch of resource gathering for herbs, getting some wood cut down. I mean, look at that. We're already having a bunch of logs cut up for us. And on top of that, we're also starting to hunt up some deer whenever they decide to actually uh, find some and get it get it going over here. I'm actually going to add in, make it so it's four people working that. We only have three laborers left. We need to have more babies. Or we need some more nomads. But for now, that's going to do it for this one. So in the next one, we're going to work through a little bit more. Probably build up our new mining area over here and start up the, the massive production of tools for trading. But thank you all so much for watching this one. Hope you liked it. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.